Okay, now we've got the second part of um, our assignment, our last assignment of the year. Uh, this is going to be adding and subtracting radical expressions. Um, again, you have 15 problems in this section. You are capped at 15. So please uh, take your time and make sure that you do this uh, correctly. All right, so these are not like radicals, so we can't add them together yet, but we can see that these are not simplified. So let's do our best and let's take this apart. Let's see. Uh, we can take out a root four and a root five. Okay, I'm gonna start there. And the square root of four is gonna give me a two. And that two can join the two that was already out front. So this is gonna give me a two times two or a four root five is gonna be the simplified version of the first uh, uh, term. The second one I'm gonna break up into square root of 25 times square root five. Okay, square root of 25 I can take, that's five. It's gonna join the two that was already up front. Sorry, I forgot that one. Okay, two times the five is going to give me a 10. So we have four root five plus 10 root five, and that's gonna give me 14 square root five. Okay, now, subtraction, very similar. Now, if I have square root of 48 minus the square root of 27, currently they are unlike terms, but we can simplify these. This can be broken up into square root 16, square root three minus, and I can break this one up into square root nine times square root three. Square root of 16 I can take, it's four square root three. Square root of nine I can take, and that's gonna give me three square root three. So now it's just subtraction, just like four X minus three X would give you one X, four root three minus three root three is gonna give you one root three. You don't need to write the coefficient in front, so just you took the time to write square root of three, it's assumed that there's one there. Okay, we've got square root of 40 minus square root of four, square root 10. Okay, so uh, in this case, it looks like we're gonna have root tens here, so I'm gonna break this up into square root four, square root 10 minus four square root 10. Now, square root of four I can take, it's gonna be two, so I have negative two square root 10 minus four square root 10. Okay, it's just like negative two X minus four X would give me negative six X. This is gonna give me negative six square root I'll do one more for good measure, but I think you guys get the general idea. Uh, we've got square root seven, negative square root seven minus 10 square root of 175. So these are unlike radicals, but we can simplify this one. So we know this one can, this is going to give me, I'm going to break this up into the square root 25 times the square root of seven. Square root of five I can take, or square root of 25 I can take, it's gonna be five. So five times negative 10 is gonna give me, so I have negative square root 10 minus 50, excuse me, negative square root seven minus 50 square root seven. So negative one minus 50 is gonna give me negative one square root. Hey guys, that's your last assignment of the year. Um, we will meet on uh, Thursday again to uh, spend time going over anything that we've missed, uh, give you guys uh, suggestions or ideas on what you should be doing over the summer. Since you guys didn't really get the full Algebra 1 experience, you, you're going to need to do some work to stay fresh uh, in July and August. All right, see you guys later.